Welcome back to Farley's Kennels and Outdoors. We're gonna show you how to replace a Garmin TT15 mini antenna. You see how bad this antenna is? This is uh, one of the collars that we run on Hustler a lot, and we're gonna replace it in favor of a lime green antenna. But uh, there's just a couple of screws that you gotta take out here. There's four Phillips screws, one here, one there, one on the end, and this one right here. Okay. All we're gonna do is set these off to the side. those three and then this one right here this one right here at the bottom is not one of the screws so there are only four screws that come out to access the antenna all right now you're going to take a uh, pick a flathead screwdriver just about anything you can get a hold of and try to pry the phone. I'm going to loop in right behind where the antenna is at. And pull up right there. And the little access door opens up. You can see all the dirt and debris that's built up inside of there, y'all. You need to take care of that and clean that all out. And take a Phillips screwdriver again. One main screw. Hold the antenna in place. Take it out. Set it off to the side. Pop your antenna up. Note the way that the antenna goes in, y'all. The antenna goes in just like that. It has to fit in that groove right there. To All right, guys, once you've got that loosened up right there, you're gonna try to remove antenna out of the keeper there's your keeper you're gonna lay it off to the side also in this video we're gonna go ahead and just replace the collar we're here got a brand new lime green one to match i like to go just go ahead and cut mine on the back because the collar is not worth nothing anyways now so easiest way to do it cut it right there in the center a pair of dots and it should be easy to remove Now's the time to go ahead and clean some of this mess up behind it. You can see some of the dirt, some of the grime that's all the way inside of here. It just helps protect the life of your collars. Just get you a pick, don't go crazy. I don't know if water would be a good idea with that cover off of it, but me personally, I would not. Get some of that dirt and grime out of there. All right. All right, guys, we're going to finish putting this back together. Cleaned it up a little bit here. Nothing too crazy. We don't want to get no water in there, I don't believe. Uh, cinch your collar down. Slide it through the back two loops. And try pulling it up tight. And then finish running it through. Okay guys, we ran the antenna, or the antenna keeper. And we're just gonna lay it into its little groove. You're gonna grab your little bit bigger screw that come out of it. And your Phillips screwdriver. And we're gonna just snug it down here. And always make sure that that one's nice and tight. And put a bigger screw, go ahead and just, look, just go ahead and make sure it's on there pretty good and tight. You're gonna take your cover, 
place your cover back in place. And then you're gonna go back to your four little screws. All right guys, so all you're gonna do is finish tightening these four screws up that you pulled out. Make sure that they're good and snug. That way, hopefully you can keep water out of there. And these are all good to go. We got a lime green collar. All of this stuff, guys, come from outdoordogsupply.com. Uh, we've actually went ahead and up, we went ahead and done three of them tonight. We went with a solid green on Hustlers. On uh, our blue collar, we actually went with a blue and black. It's actually supposed to be reflective at night or actually glow in the dark. So we're gonna see what that looks like. Maybe give you a demonstration after we run one night together. We went with a red one as well. Outdoor dog supply uh, antenna, red and black. I hope y'all enjoyed the video today and hopefully we can bring you some content here soon. Thank you for checking us out.